All right, artists, we're gonna get started on our shape collage. Um, we have a blank white sheet of paper and we wanna start with a pencil. And then we also might use a ruler. Um, I have a circle tracer, which would be a big circle or there's little circles on the inside. Um, a tape roll can be a tracer. I also have these really fun shapes um, that are very similar to ones that Frank Stella used in his paintings and sculptures. So you need to have seven to 10 shapes. No more than 10, no less than seven. So I'm gonna start with a circle and maybe I don't trace the whole thing, I just trace part of it in my corner here. And I want my shapes to overlap, I want them to touch. Um, my ruler, I'm gonna use the straight edge to make, I'm gonna do a triangle. And I'm drawing really lightly um, because eventually I'll erase my pencil marks. That's two shapes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish um, tracing all of my shapes. Okay, you notice I have all of my shapes and I actually have 11 shapes. I did one more than 10. Um, I could even maybe put one more right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. Notice this is the smallest shape. We don't want teeny tiny shapes. We want big ones that are gonna touch and overlap. Our next job is we're gonna use our Sharpie. And using our Sharpie, we're going to outline and trace all of our shapes. Now these Sharpies are brand new. So when I take off the cap, I stick it on the back. And if you can see the point of the Sharpie, it's very sharp. We wanna be gentle, we don't wanna push hard and jab our Sharpie. We want to do our best to keep our Sharpie on our paper. It does not belong on the table or on ourselves or anywhere else. So I, again, I'm gonna use my ruler when I'm tracing just to keep my lines straight. And it's okay if it doesn't line up perfectly because I'll erase my pencil marks. So this is just gonna help our shapes stand out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish tracing. After you finished outlining, you wanna just go ahead and gently erase any pencil marks that you see. Um, you might not even see that many, but just erase what you do see. For our final step, we're gonna add color and we're gonna use temper cakes. They are like watercolor um, but they have a little bit more pigment so they're more colorful um, right now they're dry they need water to wake up so you're gonna have your temper cakes and your water cup now you want each shape to be a different color so I'm gonna start I got my brush wet I'm gonna swirl it wake up this bright pink paint and you can tell when it's ready because you have paint on your brush and then I'm gonna paint this triangle oh that's such a pretty color as I'm painting I want to do my best to stay inside the lines um, so I'm going slow and being gentle All right, now my brush is dirty, so I need to swirl it, make sure it touches the bottom of my cup, and then wipe it on the edge. 
Now, if this triangle is pink, then any shape that touches it can't be pink. It should be a different color. So I'm gonna swirl in the green. and paint my next shape. Again, doing my best to stay inside those lines. It's okay to get your brush wet again if you need to get more paint on there. Just remember to clean your brush in between each color so our colors stay nice and clean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish uh, painting and we'll see how it looks. We are done with this step of the project. Um, our, our painting needs to go on the drying rack so it can dry.